All right, I'm here with uh, McGuanago Jr. Bree Sarah, who recently committed to, as we can see here, uh, the University of Iowa. Uh, I, I guess to start off, Bree, uh, you know, a, a, as a junior, you, you had the opportunity, obviously, to, you know, wait a year if you wanted to. I mean, I, yeah. you know, to your credit, I think you're that good of a player that you know schools would have waited. Why now, and why Iowa? Um, I mean, I guess I liked. I, I visited Iowa back in August. And it was kind of my favorite one all along. And I know like they had a lot of other girls in my class that were already committing. And I was just like, I looked at a lot of things, like a lot of, I don't know, just stuff about the school and the program, the coaches, and asked a lot of other people like what their like thought about it was. And I mean, I guess it's just, when I visited the second time, I just knew that it was kind of the right fit. So I didn't really see any point in just waiting any longer, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you, you know, you were one of the rare athletes. I mean, you actually, had, as a freshman, you had committed. You had, you had started off with Green Bay and then reopened your commitment uh, or re reopened your recruitment uh, this past summer. How, how did you approach it differently this time um, than your first go-round? Yeah. I mean, the first time, Green Bay was kind of like my first. They were, like, interested in me, like, very the very first one. So it was just kind of cool, like, to have a college interested in you, I guess. So. I just kind of jumped on it, I guess, not really thinking much of what the future was going to hold. So this time I really just made sure that I did my research and just looked at all of like, the components of the school and just kind of look at more things of like stuff after college, like what opportunities would be there for me. So I just think I just spent a lot more time thinking about things and just looking at the whole picture. Oh, okay. Now Iowa, they have a another prominent Wisconsin player there in Sam Logic. She was yeah. preseason all Big Ten, one of the best players, probably one of the best players in the country, really. Mm -hmm. uh, did you get a chance to to talk with Sam, interact with her yeah. during your visits? Yeah, um, we ate lunch, or I ate lunch with the whole team. I sat next to her, so it was just kind of cool to get like a perspective of someone else like from Wisconsin, to just kind of hear like what she liked about the program and everything, so it was cool to talk with her. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, you, you have plenty of time to change your major. But what's yeah. uh, any any thoughts on what you uh, you might want to study when you get there? Yeah, um, I'm leaning towards kinesiology. I originally I really liked I wanted to do athletic training, but since that's kind of hard to do like with basketball at the same time, since you have to do like work with another team, I just kind of decided like kinesiology is kind of like the same thing, but a little like less intensive, I guess. So, and my science is like my favorite class, so. I kind of just pulls it all together. Oh, okay, okay, and and then uh, I mean we're about a, a month or so from the from the start of the season. What what have you been doing? You know, this off season. What was kind of your your focus in terms of you know improving your game? Yeah, um, I mean like all summer with my AAU team. I guess the big thing for me was more consistent from the three point line. Freshman year I was like 50 percent, and then it went down a little sophomore year. So that was like my main focus. I wanted to get a lot more consistent with that. Um, so my dad and I just always, we always are in the gym working on threes a lot. So I think I improved a lot on that during the summer. So just kind of keeping that up, I guess. And um, I have finishing has always been a big thing for me. So him and I do a lot of stuff like with the bags and finishing off contact and him slapping my arms and stuff like that. Yeah. And then lastly, I mean, just tell us how you're feeling. Uh, you know, your, your, ankle, your ankle's not wrapped up now, but, yeah. you know, <laughs> you, you've been hobbled a, a little bit for the last, what, month or so? And, yeah. You know, you know, how bad was it and, you know, how are you doing right now? Yeah. Um, I guess it was kind of like there was a sprain on the outside and then a bone, like, contusion or something on the inside. So I really, I, like, was on crutches for a while and then in the boot. So I was just kind of to take the pressure off it for a while. But now I've started, like, running and jumping and doing that kind of stuff. So I'm just working on dealing with the pain, I guess, and just getting back in shape right now. Yeah, and then lastly, I mean, you know, freshman year, sophomore year, two trips to state. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, your expectations for uh, for this team this yeah. year once you guys get started. Yeah, I mean, we lost, what, maybe like eight seniors or something, so I think there's a lot of roles that need to be filled this year, but I see, like, a lot of potential for that, so, and I mean, our coaches are great, so I, can, I think we're going to have a good year again. Yeah, okay. All right, hey, Bree, yeah, I appreciate the time, and hey, good <laughs> luck this season. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right.